वेलकम बैक ऑन माई चैनल सो बिस नाउ ट्रेनिंग एंड प्लेसमेंट इन टूडेज टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एसिंक बिजनेस रूल इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द बिफोर बिजनेस रूल एंड आफ्टर बिजनेस रूल विद प्रैक्टिकल यूज केसेस इफ यू हैव इन पार्ट वॉच दोज वीडियोज प्लीज गो एंड चेक आउट एसिंक बिजनेस रूल्स आर सिमिलर टू आफ्टर रूल सिमिलर टू आफ्टर बिजनेस रूल बोथ दीज बिजनेस रूल रन when the record or the data base updated in the server but async business rule runs asynchronously which means user will immediately get the control of the browser without waiting for the code or the logic to finish execution it is used to update fields on related objects where there is no necessity to reflect changes immediately Let's move on to my uh, personal development instance to show how async business rules can be implemented. So, in the similar way, you just need to type business rule in the filter navigator. Click on new. This is the home page of the business rule. You can give the name. a uh, demo a sync maybe as fast i'm writing maybe on problem page okay so you can select here from a sync for an example if we go on the incident table suppose we are creating a record where the priority is critical okay and we wanted to notify the callers or the assign to manager that an incident with critical priority is raised okay so after we save this form we wanted to trigger a notification okay if we use the after business rule it will wait the browser will wait to send the notification which may take a fraction of second so it will induce a delay in this browser but async business rule works as a scheduler it will schedule that notification but the browser the loading of this browser will complete immediately we will see uh, some practical use cases as well in this video to understand better before uh, going on the use case let us see where we can run those async business rules so here we can see when we wanted to impersonation in our uh, scripting okay suppose we wanted to uh, suppose some and there is one user who, uh, that has only permission to delete some records so we wanted to impersonate that user okay so the logs also gets captured okay the moment you impersonate using the after business rule okay it will uh, lose the session okay the session will be uh, created on the name of the now the impersonated user okay which we don't want so in that case we can use this async business rule then writing a logic on sla or different sla calculations sla is service level agreement where we have some definite time we can wait to finish the sla metric definition is another where we can use uh async business rule because we have certain conditions suppose uh, we wanted to create some matrix uh, when incident gets resolved so it will wait when the incident gets resolved okay then rest and soap integration suppose we are triggering some api calls rest api calls and it will uh, do some action on the third party applications and we wait for the response and uh, so Async business rule will allow you to get the control immediately. User, you should not be waiting for the response to come. Then, as I already explained, event and notification. 
and the last one is any logic implementation where the time delay is expected okay so now i am moving on the uh, practical use case so for today use cases when a problem record move to root cause analysis state it should copy its attachment to its related incident record okay so it is about the problem table i'll be writing here problem dot I have created an additional field to this problem table, the related incident where it is referring to this incident table. Any incident can be attached here. Uh, maybe this uh, 10090 in this case. So it says if this problem record has any attachment. Okay. So to fulfill, I am attaching an attachment here. Okay maybe this thumbnail okay and png file okay so png this change problem is statement is demo problem okay i am saving this report now any attachment I attached to, to any record, it should get and save in the sys attachment table. If I query this table, sys attachment dot. Okay, so this thumb uh, get attached here. Okay, in this problem table, right? So this attachment table have millions of record because this is in PDA. It has a uh, less record but uh, in your real time environment it must be having millions of record because any attachment you are attaching to any record will get and save here only okay so reading a record from here and copying it to some incident will take will may take time okay but we want to return to this uh, problem browser immediately we must be using this async business rule so now moving to our new record I'm adding conditions that the problem moving to root cause analysis like this is state should moving to root cause analysis so here adding condition state changes to root cause analysis let me save this so we do not Miss the changes in the advanced section. What is our job? Our job is to first finding this related incident. So it is basically the big vacant name is U related incident. So I'm just uh, using this you related incident and now first is uh, we need to because this you related incident is already available on this space we have to first find the attachment okay and it is available in this sys attachment table so we have to glide this table first. you see in this record check this society it must be the society of here you can find it okay so the table society will be copied whenever a attachment is attached so it should be uh, I have to write gr attach dot add query this table society should be equals to what current dot society okay so 
when we find this record it should copy this attachment to the related instance okay for that we have uh, we have to use this glide sys attachment api um maybe uh, e attach it's to new glide sys attachment G at H dot copy. The syntax for copying is we have to provide it both the tables in both the SysID alternatively. So first is from where we are copying the source table, the problem, and the SysID of the problem is current dot SysID. And where we have to copy this in the incident table. Current dot. Okay, because this record is available on the form itself, it can be accessed using the current object. So uh, here are huge cases completed. I have to save this record. Now we can test this out. So as you see now, this incident table doesn't have any attachment available. But let me move this to root cause analysis state using the CY action. Okay, I have to give some assign to. Now the state changes to x6 and confirming this. Okay. The moment this state changes to root cause analysis, we have to reload our incident. You will see here the attachment which is available with the problem record has already been copied here. Okay. And there is no delay. Uh, while saving this record we have because we have used this async business rule okay it has attached uh, here and here as well so uh, this is all for today's video and uh, please like share and subscribe it will help me to grow better thank you so much